Hey guys, I'm Courtney from Wild for Salmon, and in the month of January, we are featuring our Wild Seafood Explorer Pack in our store in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. In our pack, you'll find two salmon burgers, two of our Alaskan Pacific cod portions, and two of our Wild Alaskan Sockeye Salmon portions. If you're looking to introduce seafood into your diet with the new year to make a healthier you, this is the place to start. Today we're here with Nicole. She is our chef at Wild for Salmon and she's gonna be showing us how to cook each of the three items in the seafood pack. Then after Nicole is done cooking each dish, we have a tasting team here, owners Steve and Jen Curian and myself. All right, so today we're gonna to start with cooking the salmon burgers. Um, I like to defrost them about 30 minutes before I know I'm going to cook them. And I just put them in a little bit of water in a bowl in the sink to defrost. And then when they're defrosted, I cut them open. I'll season them. Wild for salmon seasoning spice that we have in the store. All right, so then I turn on the stove to about a medium high heat. Put a little bit of olive oil in it. Is cast iron your preferred cooking pan? Cast iron is my preferred. I like that it gets nice and hot. You can put a good sear on it. All right, once my pan's hot enough, Put it in. I like to cook it for a minute and a half on each side. What I love about the salmon burgers is they cook so quickly. Yeah, you can have a dinner in less than five minutes. Once your burger is cooked, how do you like to serve it? Uh, my favorite way is to do it on a salad. When the albumin starts to come out of the salmon, um, that's when you know how to cook it, and the albumin is the white fat that's coming out of the salmon. I love the burgers for breakfast, too. I think when you hear burger, you only think of lunch or dinner, but they're great for breakfast. Yeah, they're great on an English muffin, too, yeah. with an egg. Love a spicy that. burger with an that's, egg. That's one of my favorite go-tos. All right. So my recommendation is to cook it for a minute and a half to two minutes on each side um, or to 145 degrees. I wouldn't do more than that because you don't want to um, dry out the burger. The wild for salmon seasoning is really good. It's not spicy, like it's red, so you might think it is, but it's just got a perfect, temp or perfect temperature and flavor. Yeah, I like the texture of the burgers because it's 100% sockeye meat and there's no filler in these burgers. So you get a true salmon taste. Yeah. I really like that you can put anything on it, honestly. The salt pepper even would be wonderful on it. Yeah, you cook it perfectly. It's not, it's, it's nice and moist in the middle still and mm. nice and tender. Thank you. Nicole, what's the next dish you're gonna make? We're gonna do seared sockeye salmon portion with a little bit of thyme, parsley, and mustard powder with some salt and pepper. We'll sear it in the cast iron, skin side down for about five minutes, and then we'll flip it over quick for another like two. So I like to defrost it in the um, fridge overnight, and um, I put a little slit in it, that way you can defrost it right in the thing, and I'll put it in a bowl in the fridge. Fresh black cracked pepper is like the number one seasoning for Steve, I feel like. It you is. have your own, your own pepper shaker at work. <laughs> it is my favorite. I like a little bit of ground, Mustard, some dry thyme. These are like my three go-tos always. Mm. And a little bit of paprika. Oh yeah, these are a lot. Is that parsley? And it's parsley, yeah. So once my pan gets to a nice hot, like it's starting to smoke, put a little olive oil in there. And I like to do skin side down to get the skin nice and crispy. Five minutes with the skin side down, and then I like to flip it over for another two minutes. You want to reach uh, 145 degrees in the middle, internal temp. Again, when I start seeing the albumin coming out of the fish, that's when I know when to flip it.
I love that mustard on it. Yeah, I like the mustard too. Mm -hmm. And those dried seasonings really like brightened up. You know, I wouldn't have. Yeah, the oil just rejuvenates them. Right. Yeah, and the crispy skin. Can't wait. What are you gonna make next, Nicole? We're gonna have panko crusted Pacific cod. We're gonna bake it at. 400 degrees in the oven. For this recipe, we're gonna season the Pacific Cod with salt, pepper, panko, Parmesan cheese, and lemon zest. So I'm gonna mix a quarter cup of panko with two tablespoons of Parmesan, and grate half a lemon zest. So you add the oil to the um, panko so it moistens it up a little bit so you're not treating you're not eating dry panko. And then add the mix on top. So today you're cooking in a toaster oven. How is that different from the using a main oven? Um, it's the same thing. You can use the toaster oven or your just regular oven that you have at home um, with the stove. So we're gonna cook it at 400 degrees in um, your oven. And then we're gonna cook it for eight minutes at 400 degrees and we'll put it at broil for two minutes just to crisp up the panko on top. our uh, oven into broil for two minutes on high and you're looking for that crust to start to get golden brown Like I said, the lemon zest in that is amazing. Yeah. You can believe how strong that comes through. And the crunch in the panko. On the light, yeah. fluffy cod. Thanks for joining us today, and thank you, Nicole, for cooking for us. Everything was delicious. Oh, thank you. To start the year with a healthier you, stop by our store in Bloomsburg, and our helpful staff will guide you to find the Explorer Seafood Pack. Our in-store staff can help you find a recipe, or you can visit our website, wildforsalmon.com. We also have seasonings and other toppings in store for you to enjoy.